and everybody knows that biochar is a good soil amendment to add to your garden and it can be in any form it can be in small powdery small chunks it can be larger pieces whatever you like to do it can be active or it cannot be active but I like to do a lot of different things with biochar and I like to make small batches and try certain things out and see how it works so if you like this video and find it informative hit the like and subscribe so when I do more videos um, about gardening about biochar about worm farming or any other videos that I may post to this channel you'll actually get it so let's get going and what we're going to do is make some active biochar using replenish. I don't know if you know what replenish is. There's two forms of replenish out there. There's a, a one for grass that actually has urine, urine in it. And that's a very high nitrogen fertilizer. Well, that's not what I'm using. I'm just using the pure chicken manure replenish okay and that has been heat treated and then processed and composted to actually make it more sustainable okay so that's what I'm gonna make today and I like to make an experiment with different things so I'm going to do it backwards though. Usually I would add in rock dust. But the first thing I'm going to add in is going to be worm castings. These are my own worm castings. So I'm very secure with my worm castings knowing how I feed my worms, how I take care of my worms. I know that these are some premium worm castings. So I'm just going to mix them in. And I'm only doing one part. This is a small batch. If I was doing a bigger batch, I might add more. All right. But you just want to kind of mix it up really good. And to replenish, because it's a chicken manure, as we know, chicken manure is high in um, nitrogen, but seeing it's been compost, it actually is not as high as it would be if you put it in fresh. So, but it's still a good thing to use. Still has a little bit of the earthy smell. But this is what it looks like. And it does have that earthy smell. And right now, in this bag, I actually have, I weighed out uh, a pound and a half, a little over a pound and a half. I don't know what the NPK is on this. I would have to actually check that out but so I'm just gonna mix it all up and it's just activating the biochar with the manure the composted manure and I'm gonna do it the same way that I do everything else with the biochar and what you really want to do, and this is what it looks like. And the reason why I did it backwards is because the biochar was crushed today and it was a little moist, a little moist. So I didn't want to put in the rock dust first. So I wanted to give it more surface for it to, uh, be able to adhere to other things 
and actually dry up the biochar by adding in some of the other items that are actually not large uh, moisture content. But that looks good. And, and that's the thing about activating biochar. As you know, you can use anything you want um, to activate it. You could take weeds that are gonna that are has other nutrients in it and nitrogen and you could put that inside a bag, a bucket full of biochar and as it breaks down those nutrients are gonna leach off of those uh, weeds as they start to break down and they are going to activate your biochar. You could take just worm castings. You could put in your compost. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. So this one is going to be replenished biochar, active biochar. And depending on how this does for me, this might be something that I add to my arsenal of active biochar and you may be able to purchase some so we're going to see how this works and I would use this the same way that I use any of my biochar I don't put my biochar on the top of the soil um, I usually put my biochar in my planting holes so anytime I'm planting something, I take a handful and I put it in the hole, mix it in, and that's it. And I do it at every hole. I don't really broadcast it over my soil. And you can do that, but I like to put in each hole. That way I'm not using a ton of it. But I'm not going to add any more of the other nutrients that I add into my normal active biochar. Because I want to see how this reacts with the plants. And this will be the only thing that I give those plants. So they may be in the ground. They may be in pots. Like soon we're coming up. The weather's going to start getting nice, warm. And we're going to be faced with starting to put things out. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this for my carrot seeds, my radish seeds, and my um, spinach seeds. So anything that I do extremely early, that's this is what I'm going to use. I think that's going to work out extremely well. Has the same smell. I mean, I, I, it has an earthy smell. Some people might say it stinks, but I don't think it's it's really an earthy smell. If you understand composting things down, and then also, which I don't have to. This is perfect as it is. You don't have to add rock dust to this, but I'm gonna add it to it. Because that's what I want to add more minerals to it. And this is, as you see, this is a totally different color. I talked to volcano rock dust. So it's really micro. It's, it's super, super fine. I'm not going to give this any food. I'm not going to give it any flour as you would if you uh, usually would add more a flower to a feed but I think that's not what I want to do with this particular batch and that looks good so the only thing I'm gonna do to this at this point of mixing it up it's ready to go is the only thing I'm probably going to do is I'm going to throw this into into either a bucket or a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, store it away until it's time to start doing my seeds 
outside. And then, of course, I know I'll use it for other things, but this is going to be nice. I think it's going to be a nice addition to my other active biochars that I am going to be showing you guys pretty soon. So, all right, and that's it. That's a quick and easy active biochar. All right, so that's good. And like I said, if you guys like the video, find it informative, like and subscribe so you can see other videos that I'll be posting. I appreciate you. This is New Era Gardener, and thanks for watching.